Welcome to Ground Level Perspective. Kim Wilson, Ground Level Perspective. Welcome to Ground Level Perspective. I am your host, Kim Wilson. Welcome to Ground Level Perspective. This is Kim Wilson. We're in Rock Ridge, Oakland, California. Uh, we are here getting ready to talk to Dr. Um, Christina Via Real. I like how I said that. Um, we're about to have a good time. Just have a nice conversation with her about clinical uh, psychology. <laughs> Welcome to Ground Level Perspective. This is Kim Wilson sitting here with Dr. Via Real. We, we are in her office, so we're going to have a good time talking about it. So let's jump right into, we were talking about Obama. Let's talk about Obama for a okay. second. Let's talk about his popularity and, you know, the rise of popularity. Sure. Yeah, so how, you know, how did that come about? What, sure. What you, you know, I think Americans were really ready for a change. You know, our country was dealing with eight years of George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. We were um, in the middle of two poorly managed wars and people were getting very emotional. It was a very emotional time for mm -hmm. Americans. And when Obama stepped onto the scene, a mm -hmm. lot of young people really rallied behind him because they felt he reflected their values. And I really think during that time, during the election time, people really were so excited to see the prospect of positive changes. Mm -hmm. Is that somewhere, some emotion? That sounds like emotional stuff. It was. I mean, I remember when he came into the office, um, you know, the day of the election, everyone I knew was so excited and mm -hmm. so fired up, and it was such an emotional experience. I'm not sure if in our lifetime we will ever see um, such an emotional election of a new president coming into office, first black man, um, president of the United States. It's, it's an exciting time. <laughs> That's a good answer. I'm like, you know, I'll keep taking notes. All right, well, let's say, um, that's my next question for you is, let's say the health health care reform bill is all said and done, it's all passed. Um, how does that help you as an entrepreneur? Well, it makes health care coverage, mental health care coverage, more accessible mm -hmm. to a more diverse group of people who mm -hmm. um, normally might not have access to mental health coverage mm -hmm. um, given their financial circumstances. So mm -hmm. it will really allow me to treat a more diverse group of people in so my practice. Let's start with where you're from and then mm -hmm. talk about the schools you went to. Okay, so um, I was born and raised in Oregon. Okay. And I pursued- Oregon, what, what city in Oregon? I mean, they probably <laughs> they don't want to hear what city, what city is it? Right. Um, well, I'm from a small town outside of Salem, okay. so, uh, which is. is the capital. There it is. Mm -hmm. okay. So I left Oregon and um, pursued my undergraduate degree in Atlanta, Georgia at Emory University. Exactly. And I majored in psychology. Uh -huh. um, directly after um, completing my degree in okay. Atlanta, I decided to come back to the West Coast mm -hmm. and um, to pursue graduate school. Mm -hmm. And I attended the University of San Francisco for a master's in marriage and family therapy. Okay. Um, I really marriage and therapy. Marriage and family therapy. Mm -hmm. Okay, family therapy. Okay. Um, I, you know, I felt like a master's in counseling would really allow me to determine what direction I wanted to go in mm -hmm. with regards to mm -hmm. um, a career in psychology. My undergraduate degree was very research oriented. Um, mm -hmm in the arena of psychology and so I mm -hmm. thought that would be a good balance to determine what type of doctoral program I should choose for myself. Got you. Um, and then after USF, I um, attended the California School of Professional Psychology mm. uh, for my PhD. Was that tough? Um, it, it, there were definitely challenges mm -hmm. for sure along the way. Um, you know, it's just a lot of years, it's a lot of um, planning and hard work, you know, completing a dissertation and of the coursework. All right, well, that's good stuff, man. Now, I want to just go back just a little bit. Now, when you went to Emory, mm -hmm. what, did you do anything, you know, uh, let's say, did you pledge or? <laughs> I did. <laughs> did you pledge? Oh, no, I didn't pledge. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. um, I, you know, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh -huh. I did pledge Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. There you go. And actually, um, I've made a lot of great professional connections through my sorority mm -hmm. um, that have allowed me to, um, you know, gain experience and, um, you know, make those connections and in, in getting uh, professional positions. See, that's what I'm Very helpful. About. It's all about networking. Networking and community and making sure you make the right moves. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking and, about. And, you know, it's, it's also, you know, in an undergraduate experience, it's very much about um, connecting with other women, mm -hmm. um, you know, 
uh, contributing to um, community service. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, really getting connected with the community in Atlanta was, um, a, you know, great experience. That's you know, huge. Totally different part of the country for me. And oh, yeah. it was it was very um, eye-opening. Well, that's good stuff. I mean, I'm in your office and I'll